The Bake Pops pan makes 18 little round cakes on sticks. It comes with the sticks, it's dishwasher safe, and it says you can use it with any cake mix. We took it to Sheila Gilliam to see if it actually works. I mean, it really just calms me down when I bake. Sheila is a professional certified baker with training from the Art Institute. She makes her own pops by hand. And if you're on a diet, hey, it's a little bite, so you don't feel guilty. It's still cake. But you don't feel guilty. <laughs> We created a red velvet cake batter from a Paula Deen recipe, and the pan's instructions called for plenty of nonstick spray. We deviated from the directions, though. When we gave up on pouring the batter from a measuring cup, it was making a mess, so we switched to a pastry bag. Oh, that is a much better plan. To place top pan with the holes on the bottom pan and secure it with the clips. That's pretty easy. Bake at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, we made some of Sheila's pops, which involved crumbling an already cool cake into a bowl. It's a job for young children. They would love to do this, get their hands in there. Are you sure you don't want to do this? Thought she'd never ask. Once it's crumbled, add some frosting, roll them into balls, and put them in the fridge. In the meantime, the pops in the oven were finished earlier than expected. Let's see here. Got some overflow there. They passed the toothpick test, so we decided to continue. And if any cake has baked through the holes, simply scrape off before removing top pan. So far, I think that they are super easy because you don't have you can cut some steps out. So as right. long as they dip and look pretty, you're good. We'll be fine. Yes. Once they cool, it's time to pull them out and decorate. The pops had ridges where the pans meet, but that just scrapes off, and they came out kind of conical instead of just round. Sticks. Dipping became the issue. The stick is a little less firm than I'd like it to be. The sticks included with the pan have a small flat end that goes in the ball, but it doesn't go all the way through. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> this one came off in the batter! There's, there's nothing for the stick to kind of go into, and it's a lot shorter than the regular cookie stick that you would use. We ended up with only 6 out of 18 actually making it through the decorating process. But the moment that you add the weight from the other chocolate, it falls right off. Since it's not as dense as the regular um, cake pops are, you're not going to have um, anything to adhere it to. It's kind of like sticking it regular, in. Regular cake that's just, that's exactly. That's like taking a regular piece of cake and just trying to pick it, put it in there and pick it up. The hand rolled ones with the stronger sticks fared much better. And yeah, you can even tap it on the... To be able to get the excess off. But the best part is... They're fun. You get to eat the mistakes. And we took them to a coffee house for a taste test. Anything with chocolate and little sprinkles is going to be delicious, and that's good. I don't know if it's going to fall off if I eat it all the way around, but so far it's easy. Are you, are you worried about it falling off of there? How does, does it feel flimsy? Does it feel no, solid? It doesn't. It feels solid. Delicious. Fantastic. A plus. As long as you can make it and get it to actually stay on the stick while you make it, it's fine after that. We found that using stronger sticks makes the decorating process a little better, but hey, it's cake on a stick. How can you really go wrong? Marshall McPeak, NBC4.